how a heating system works. My name's Alan Hart and today we're going to look at how a central heating system works. First of all I'd like to thank EPH Controls. EPH Controls have sent us these boards out so that I can demonstrate how a heating system works. So if you could bob onto their website and have a look at what products they sell, yeah, that'd be great. Um, so yeah, let's get let's get into this video and have a look. How your heating system works. But before that, I've noticed that there's been quite a lot of gas engineers and plumbers um, and you've been putting comments and links to your websites in the videos. That's brilliant. That will help or hopefully help with Google and maybe help your website a little bit. So feel free to do that. If you're a plumber or a heating engineer, add a comment below, boiler, central heating or whatever, whatever you do, whatever type of work you do and add a link to your website. I've no issues at all with that. You know, sharing is caring, as I say. Uh, yeah, um, and anybody else, please, if you can, like this video and also add a comment. It really helps with the video. So first of all, what I wanted to look at, I wanted to look at one of the videos that I've already uploaded. And if you have a, if you search on, I'll add a link below as well. But this is Central Heating Systems gravity fully pumped combi y plan and s plan it's quite an in-depth video it shows you about the boilers shows you where the pumps go it shows you about two pipe heating systems shows you about cylinders and how how they're piped in as i say it's a very in-depth video if you have a look there it also shows you where your pipe work configuration should be, how high your tank should be. We've got some details on an S plan in there. As I said, it's a very, very detailed video. Also shows you about combi boilers as well. And that's just showing you cold mains going in. That's a very detailed video. Um, I've also got quite a lot of other videos. I'll try and add some comments, um, some links, should I say, below. And... Um, to different videos because there's, there's loads and loads to do with central heating, S plans, Y plans, how to wire, how to wire an S plan as well. Um, if you're an installer, if you're a heating engineer, if you want branded controls, and I know there's other manufacturers that do this now, um, but EPH offer um, a solution so you can have branded controls. Um, so you can buy your combi packs, uh, combi pack fours, and you can have these packs laser printed and then anybody who follows my videos will see that i did um i went over to ireland and I, and I printed my own which were really good so how how does a heating system work this is a basic um basic video on an s plan and on a y plan and just to show you how how it works so let's have a let's have a look at that now central heating is very very easy once you understand um understand what you're doing and with a so this is a y plan or a free part valve so some people call this a y plan system or a y plan central heating system and it's a free part valve because what we've got we've got this flow coming in and then that comes from the heat source normally that would be the central heating boiler and then it goes to whichever way you want it to go so a is normally for the central heating system and b would normally be for the combi boiler so the way i always remember that is a for air and b for bath so b for the hot water cylinder i'll just zoom into that now and i'll just show you i'll show you that I said combi boiler then I actually meant hot water so a hot water cylinder so as I say you've got your A and B and normally the valves have a, have a A and B on them so that shows you that the flow would come in there as I say from the heat source 
and then it would go in the direction that you choose it to go so as I say A, A for air so A for your radiators your bleed radiators so A for air and B B for bath so B for your hot water cylinder please comment below and let me know how you remember the valve um, the free pot valve so how does this work um, first of all you've got to have a power supply normally that might be a few spur and then that power then goes to a wiring center and then that feeds your controls and how that works i'll show you now I'll just plug this in so always remember if you're going to work on electrics you must be competent to do so i'm just going to turn the power on now so if we turn the power on what happens is we've turned the fuse spur or the plug or the power source we've turned that on we've now got mains power into this so this is you need to be really careful with this this is high voltage now and then we've got a timer and what happens is when we set our timer for a call for heat so the timer is now asking the hot water to come on and this is the cylinder thermostat and at the moment it's turned down but if we turn the cylinder thermostat up I don't know if you can hear that but that valve has just moved and that has now asked the boiler to come on so now if we turn that back down and we can see the boiler has gone back off so that's how that works and with the heating so, if, so now the hot water is off if we add the heating we click the heating on then what we need to do so the heating's come on on there that valve is now moving over and that'll mean that the flow can go there through the through that valve and if we can see the boiler has now come on again and that's because the room thermostat is turned up so exactly the same as i say it's very very easy is this the clock is asking for the heating to come on it then goes to the room thermostat and if this is turned up it will call for heat it'll t it'll move this valve and then it'll mean the boiler will come on so if we turn the room thermostat down and we can see that instantly the boiler has gone off so how that's working is if we're asking just for hot water it comes from here it goes to the cylinder stat your cylinder stat normally would be turned up so that would be on your timer or you might put onto constant so it comes from here hot water cylinder stat valve and then boiler if you're doing heating it'd do the same it'd go from the heating go to the cylinder stat go to the valve and again go to the boiler if you if you had both if you were calling for both so you've got your heating and hot water so you can see there we're calling for both now turn them both up and then what this valve will do it will go in the mid position so you'll get your flow coming up from your heat source from your boiler and part of the flow will go around the heating so around A and part of the flow will go around B which is is um, B for bath so it'll go around the hot water cylinder and what tends to happen is because the hot water cylinder is the least resistance because the the y plan valve um, or the um, the free pot valve is normally in the airing cupboard then it give um, it'll work for the heat for the hot water better so you know sometimes it's a good idea to have them on at separate times so you might want to put your hot water on slightly before and then once the hot water is up to temperature 
then the flow will go around the heating. So I hope that made sense. But if you've got any questions with that, please add a comment below and I'll try my best to, to answer that. What we'll do now, I'll go over to an S-Plan system and I'll show you how the S-Plan system works. First of all, I want to do a little plug if I can. Um, next year, we're hoping to do Gas Chat Tour 2. So we did Gas Chat Tour um, a few years ago and, and now we're looking at doing Gas Chat Tour 2. So, so what do I need from you guys? Well, if you're a manufacturer, and you want to support Gas Chat Tour 2, then please get in touch. Also, if you wanted to be involved with Gas Chat Tour 2, if you're an installer, if you're an apprentice, or if you're somebody who's gonna, you're training to be a gas engineer, and you want to come along and help us, again, put some comments below and let me know if you're interested. Also, if you found my videos useful in the past and you want to donate, then I'll add a, I'll add a link below and, and you can donate and uh, we've raised quite a lot of money so far and you know if we can continue this and make this channel so that we can use it for you know for for good and it can help help you um learn and also help the charities then then it's win-win for everybody um so yeah um that's guest chat tour two um let's get on to the s plan now i'll show you what um, how an S-Plan system works. How does an S-Plan system work? Well, central heating systems are not complicated at all. And an S-Plan system works very similar to a Y-Plan system or a three-part system, if you like it, or a three-part central heating system. And all we're trying to do is divert the water from the boiler to to where we want it to go so an s plan it could be that you've got a hot water cylinder and it could be that you've got a central heating system or it could be that you've got two central heating circuits and with an s plan you can have an s plan plus so you could have as many of these zone valves as as you needed you could have 20 of them if you needed you just have to have the controls to to control it. Um, on this S plan system, what we're going to do, we'll turn the power on. So that's his power source. That could be a fuse spur. And again, we've got the wiring center. We've got his control. So if we turn his zones on. Once they both come on, and then we've got whatever temperature control we need. So that's for the central heating system. So that's asking the heating to be on. So if we see there, we're asking the central heating to be 35 degrees. And this one, this is this is um, a sensor. So that could be for the cylinder. So this is actually a wireless, um, a wireless cylinder thermostat. And as I say, that would go into your pocket at your cylinder. So if we were asking the temperature of the water in the cylinder to be 60 degrees. And then they would open these valves here. And if we can see on these valves, they've got little indicators on. So we can see both of these valves are calling for heat. And on there, the boiler is on. If we turn these stats down, so now if we turn the temperature of the heating down, so we're not asking the heating to be on, That will then send a signal and this zone valve here will turn off so i don't know if you can see that that just moved and the light has gone off and then same again on this particular type if this was the hot water cylinder if we turn the temperature of the hot water cylinder down
and again this valve will move shortly and the light on the front will go off as you just see there that moved so that's just turned that valve off so i hope that's give you an understanding of how um, how an s plan system works and how a central heating system works i have got some other videos coming soon some really interesting ones i've got some air source air source heat pumps so i'm going to put an air source heat heat pump um i'm going to put that into the garage to feed the garage i've also i'm going to do some pv panels as well i'm going to put some pv panels on my roof and on my man cave and i'm also going to look into having battery storage so i know tesla tesla do some battery storage solutions so i'm going to look at i'm going to look at doing that as well um i'm going to try and make it so that i can be as environmental uh, environmentally friendly as possible um i'm going to try and get my tesla so my tesla will work off the sunshine um so yeah so i'm not damaging damaging the planet um if you've got any questions on any of that please ask ask below um yeah and thanks for watching